Hey everybody, so this week's learning series is gonna be a little quick. We're just talking about the difference between a general partner and a limited partner. A general partner or a GP is the one who runs the deal. They basically, they have to source the deal doing all the, the lead generation, mailing, calling owners and looking and talking to brokers, establishing relationships and all of that to analyze, underwrite many deals like 80 to 100 deals before you find just one that makes sense to do. And on top of that, then they have to find the funding and speak to lenders. They have to raise money for the equity, which will be private investors. They have to do all the day-to-day, -day, not day-to-day, -day, but managing the manager. They have to find a good property management company in the area and go through all the scenario, come up with a business plan. Basically, being a general partner in a deal is a lot of work. And it's funny because I speak to a lot of people um, who message me privately and I have these conversations and when I ask what your goals and what you're trying to do in real estate, it always involves being active. And I don't think people realize how much work it really is. So that's what a general partner in a deal for a syndication or any kind of the operator of the deal does the day to day. A limited partner is what I think a lot of people really want to do because that's when you actually don't do anything. You bring your equity or your cash, whatever you want to invest into the deal to the table. And then after that, you sit back and relax and the general partner handles everything. And all you do is get distribution checks every quarter or every month, however the property management or the, however the, the business plan, you know, allows for distributions to be given. Then you also get to enjoy the tax benefits that come with owning rental property, which are actually pretty significant. I'm not a CPA. Check with your CPA first. I've got to give that disclaimer. But from what I've heard and what I've experienced, tax benefits really outweigh a lot of other, you know, benefits for a multifamily building or investing. It's like one of the, the top reasons because you really can take big advantage of that you know, to in decrease your income from other sources. Um, so basically, yeah, that's the differences. If you think you want to be active in real estate, really research, do your studying, dig deep, make sure that that's really what you want to do because it's a lot more work than people realize and you have to do a lot of education. You have to be in the right networks. It's a 24-7 job, you know, so try to do that with your full-time job. Trust me, I know it's, it's hard. <laughs> so if you want to actually be passive, be a limited partner, but the only upfront work you really need to do is vetting your general partner, making sure they have some experience or they have the team behind them with the experience and doing a little bit of research because you may not need to know how to fix a car underneath the hood, but you need to know how to drive it. So you still need that surface level knowledge to make sure somebody's not trying to sell you something that's not a probable investment. All right, so that's what I got for now. Got any questions, feel free to comment below or reach out to me in my DMs.